Before we get into the video make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell if you haven't, in order to be the first to get notified when I release new videos. Superman, Man of Tomorrow, 2020, full movie in summary, recap, plot, synopsis, or whatever you will call it. Growing up, Clark Kent becomes isolated around humanity due to his superhuman abilities. As a young adult, Clark is an intern for the Daily Planet, covering the launch of a LexCorp telescope meant to discover other life forms from space. Grad student Lois Lane reveals the fraud Lex Luthor has given to the president, just as Clark sparks a friendly conversation with janitor Rudy Jones. The rocket is launched, but soon explodes in the air, but then, up in the sky, Clark appears and flies the rocket into space, saving the day. Unbeknownst to him, he is watched by a mysterious man. Confirming the disaster is based on Lois' sources, Luther is arrested, and Lois moves from grad student to ace reporter. Clark sees an article wondering if the flying man is a hero or menace, just as he meets Lois, who reveals to him that her way of getting the story is a power play, taking the power away from powerful men. She forgets her photographs, which reveals she has named the flying man as the Superman. Star Labs reveals something coming to Earth, to which Clark flies to intercept, and encounters a Zarnian bounty hunter named Lobo, who is after the last Kryptonian. Battling all over the city, Clark surprises Lobo at every turn, because the bounty hunter never knew Kryptonians had superpowers on Earth. The fight moves to Star Labs, Rudy is pinned from debris, just as Lobo throws a bomb but misses Clark, instead of infecting Rudy with its strange purple liquid. Outside, Lobo reveals his kryptonite ring, nearly killing Clark in the process, until the mysterious man reveals himself to be a Martian, and attacks Lobo. Healing from the yellow sun, Clark manages to finally beat Lobo, saving the Martian in the process. Despite his heroics, everyone wants answers over the alien menace, including Lois. Returning to Smallville with his issues, Clark gets advice from his adopted parents, reminding him that with no wrong answers, Clark will have to live with the consequences whether he reveals himself or continues to hide. At the hospital, an infected Rudy wakes up and murders the people around him, stealing their energy like a parasite. Driving home, the mysterious man appears, telepathically attacking Jonathan until Clark intervenes. Revealing to be not an enemy, he introduces himself as John Jones the Martian Manhunter. He tells his story that is the last of his kind, he has remained hidden because of the xenophobia humans carry towards people like themselves, and urges Clark to do the same to which Clark disagrees. John surprises Clark with the revelation that he is Kal-El, the last son of Krypton, and activates the crystal-shaped device given to him inside his rocket. Clark learns of his Kryptonian heritage, and the last moments of his biological parents, Jor-El and Lara. Like this video if you are enjoying it, and tell me what you like or think about this video, in the comments section below. The next morning, Martha gives Clark an upgrade, a red and blue costume with the S from the crystal. Seeing Lois first part of the Superman article expose, Clark decides to head back to Metropolis. At Star Labs, Lois meets Lobo in his electrified cell, who feeds her lies and would rather sexually harass her than talk. Then, Parasite shows up, killing the guards and scientists, and gains energy from Lobo's cell, freeing him and becoming a monster. Parasite escapes, while Lois is saved by Superman. He tells her she is wrong about his intentions and wants to be the one to reveal himself. Lois agrees, and Superman flies off. Superman fights Parasite while John rescues civilians from a train that the monster crashed. Superman's powers do nothing but strengthen him, then the monster absorbs his energy, learning everything about the Man of Steel. John comes to save him, but Parasite does the same with him, and lights him on fire, seemingly killing him. Retreating, Clark is bedridden as his powers have been drained. Lois comes to check on him, to which he tells her he fears he is not a reporter as he thought, Lois pushes him back up, reminding him of the risks and evil he will face, as that's the job. He takes her advice and meets with someone that can help him, Lex Luthor. Superman meets with Luthor, wanting his help as Luthor has figured out that the sun is his power source, and he is now weak because of the parasite. Returning to LexCorp, Luther reveals the Parasite would have Superman's weaknesses along with his strengths and he brings in his new partner Lobo, and his kryptonite ring. From there, they form a plan, taking control of the power plant, and removing all power from the city, attracting the Parasite to them. It works, and a giant monster-sized Parasite reveals himself to Superman, Luther, and Lobo. 
Despite their best efforts, Superman is still powerless, and Lobo is seemingly killed. The military arrive, but their attacks only make himself stronger. Superman decides to become the bait and lure him away from the plant, just as Luther grabs the kryptonite for a weapon he designed. Just as Superman is grabbed by Parasite, Luther double-crosses him and shoots his kryptonite weapon, nearly killing both Superman and Parasite until John, who had faked his death with his telepathic powers, intervenes. As John chases Luther, and Lois watches from the bridge of unsuspecting targets, Superman tries to reason with Parasite and getting Rudy to come out. At the same time, he takes control of a vengeful crowd and reveals that despite being an alien, he is from Earth, making him more human, and will not hide because of fear anymore. Just then, the reactor inside the power plant overloads, attracting the Parasite. Superman is too weak to stop it as Parasite absorbs the power, but is overwhelmed, disintegrating into ashes in the progress. Superman and John meet up on top of the Daily Planet along with Lobo who had survived by reassembling his limbs. Before he leaves, he reveals the truth of his life, there are more Martians and possibly more Kryptonians too. John decides to leave, in hopes of finding more of his people. Superman is met by Lois, whom in a power play, decides to reschedule their interview. Lois goes back inside with nothing, while Clark smiles in the background. Click to watch another video on the screen.